I'm going to show you how to use keyboard, mouse, and gamepad shortcuts in the Pro Real Time platform. Go to Options and then Shortcuts to access the list of shortcuts. There are different shortcuts for both the platform and for trading. For the platform, only keyboard shortcuts may be used. Different types of shortcuts are available, including the File menu, Display menu, Trading menu, Help menu, the Interface, Charts, and other windows. For each shortcut, click on it to get a description and to set the shortcut. For example, if you want to display lists, the default shortcut is Control plus L. If you want to set it to something else, you can use Control plus Character or Control Shift plus Character. To delete a shortcut, click on the X here. Then if I want to set it to Control L, I just push Control L again, for example. You can set your shortcuts back to default by clicking on this button. Let's look at some of the more useful shortcuts for the platform that you may not know about. Loading a template is done with the function keys F1 to F12 for certain templates. If we go up to here and we choose Load Template, we can see a list of function keys that are pre-assigned. If we go to the Save As menu and set a template as favorite, for example, the trading template, we can see that it can actually have a separate shortcut set for it. I'm going to set my trading template to Control I, for example. You can set it to anything you want. Saving the current template is Control S. Saving the template as something else is done with Control W. You can also set a shortcut for the Modify Delete menu, which lets you manage your templates. Quit is of course Control Q. The display menu just shows different windows that you can open with the display menu here. You can set different keyboard shortcuts for those and you can see that a reminder of the current keyboard shortcut for each of these is shown. For the trading menu, it's the same as the display menu. You can set keyboard shortcuts for the different windows that are displayed here. For the interface of the platform, you may not know that you can move up and down on lists with either the arrow keys or the mouse wheel when the list is selected. For example, let's select the list here, and I'm currently moving up and down with the mouse wheel, and the same thing can also be done with arrow keys. On charts, you can scroll the time scale with control and arrow keys. You can also zoom with control plus and minus and with the mouse wheel. Automatically adjust scale. This can be done with enter or spacebar after clicking on the chart. To do a quick search from a chart, you can push Control plus Spacebar. This will let you search for another instrument. You can display comments with Control U or objects with Control J. Both of these are customizable shortcuts. For Windows, you can close the active window with the Escape key and reduce the entire platform to the system tray using Control H. Now let's look at some of the shortcuts related to trading. You can change the window with the arrow keys or the joystick on a gamepad. By using the arrow keys I've just changed the window that's active so that I can quickly place orders with the keyboard or another type of shortcut. Increase and decrease quantity can be done by default with the plus and minus keys. Watch the quantity shortcut here. 
By using the plus and minus keys, I increase or decrease the quantity of the order. Now let's look at some order placement. You can set shortcuts for buy market, sell market, validate confirmation, cancel confirmation, close position, invert position, and cancel pending orders. For example, here I've set Control Shift B to be my keyboard shortcut. Remember, you can use Control Character or Control plus Shift plus Character to set your shortcuts. So if I do Control Shift B on this window, I've placed a market order. Some shortcuts are specific to the order book in scalping mode. Let's open up an order book in scalping mode and have a look at that. Click here to open the order book, a button like this. Click here to change the display mode of the order book. We're going to select scalping mode. The shortcuts available are buy limit bid, sell limit bid, buy limit ask, sell limit ask, exit, which is cancel all pending orders on the instrument and then close open position. Stop at X sets a stop loss order at a point X tick sizes away from the average cost of the position. You can set the number of ticks here. Target is the same thing. You can set the number of ticks here. For more information on the order book in scalping mode, please watch that dedicated video. To learn more, click on one of the links that appears on the screen.